Mathematics 2 exam 2015 question 1 Bob got a job he was paid 15,000 pounds in his first year and then got a thousand pounds a year for each year up to a maximum of 23,000 pounds how much did Bob get paid in year 5 this is clearly an arithmetic progression the first term is 15,000 pounds the common difference is 1,000 pounds and the number of years is 5. So Bob got the first term plus n minus 1 times 1,000 which gives us a total of £19,000. Part 2. How much did Bob get paid in the first 10 years? Well, let's remind ourselves of the formula. The sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression is given by n over 2 brackets 2a plus n minus 1d. In the ninth year Bob reaches £23,000. So we can't use the equation for all 10 years. We have to do 9 years and then add an additional £23,000 for the 10th year. So let's do the sum to 9 years. So the sum to 9 is 9 over 2 plus 2 times the first term plus 9 minus 1 times 1000 and that is equal to £171,000. And then for the 10th year, we have to add an additional £23,000 because he's clipped at that rate. So in the first 10 years, Bob earns £194,000. Part 3. Provide an independent check to your answer in Part 2. This is what Bob earned in the first 10 years. Up to year 10, he was getting additional thousand pounds a year and the total amount that Bob earned in that time is actually the area under the curve. As a quick check we can find out how much Bob earned in year 5 and then we can multiply that by 10 to calculate the area of that rectangle. Now it's not exact because of course Bob was clipped at year 9 but if the area of the rectangle there gives us a value similar to the 94,000 pounds that we've got there then we should be okay. Doing that calculation we were, we find that Bob earned around £190,000 and doing our precise calculation we find that Bob earned £194,000 which means the answer that we've calculated is probably right. Part B. Evaluate the following. So we've got the sum from r equals 1 to 20 of 4r plus 1. So the way to solve something like this is to start by looking at the first three terms. The first three terms are 5, 9 and 13. So there's a difference of 4 between each one of those. So this is obviously an arithmetic series. The first term is 5 and the common difference is 4. So the sum to 20 terms is given... Sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression is given by that equation there. Putting in the values, first term is 5, n is 20, and d is 4. Put the values in and we get 860 is the answer. Part 2. 3 to the 0 is 1, 3 to the 1 is 3, 3 squared is 9. So now it's clear we've got a geometric series the first term is 1 and the common ratio r is 3. The sum to n terms of a geometric series is given by Sn is equal to a brackets 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Putting the values in we get the sum to 11 terms. Remember we start at 0 and we go to 10 so that's 11 terms in total that gives us the answer of 88,573 and that's the end of question one